So, me again, Nerdy Girl. I know it's been a really long time since I made a video. And I thank you guys for just sticking around and waiting on my retardedness to subside so I can make more videos. Alright, so I know I'm a little behind on this, but I did pick up the new Harley Quinn monthly series. This is number zero, issue number zero. And as you can see, we have all these different artists and writers there. Oh, focus. Alright. And one thing, you guys, I would like to say, calm your fucking titties. Like, seriously, people were so upset over this series. People are so upset over Harley having a different outfit. People are so upset that, oh my god, the story's not good. Uh, it's issue zero, people. Calm your titties. Calm them. Like, the whole entire book is just about Harley talking to the artist and the writers about how they're going to be drawn, how, well, how she's going to be drawn, and how her story's going to go. And then the story actually finally picks up at the very end of the comic. Which I heard a lot of people going, Oh, she just does nothing but talk to the artist. Issue zero, people. That might be why. It's like, really? Give the damn thing a fucking chance. I'm a huge Harley fan. I will love Harley till I die. She's like my spirit animal or spirit psychopath. <laughs> and I just love her. And I love the comic. I thought this issue was, I thought it was funny. I thought it kept me going. I loved the different styles. I want to show you guys my favorite out of all the different ones. This one was my first. This one here, the whole 1960s uh, secretary look there. I really like that one. I also really liked this one. I think if ever a Harley Quinn video game is ever made, please choose this artist because this was amazing and it just looks amazing. I really like this one also, like this futuristic Jetsons look. I mean, like, look at Harley there. Like, look at that. It's so cute along with Catwoman, and they look awesome. I love that one also. Of course, you guys, I'm pretty sure you've seen this picture floating around the interwebs, the Happy Bats giving. I love this picture. I want to have this blown up. If anybody out there would like to blow up this picture for me so I could, like, hang it above my dining room table every Thanksgiving, I would be so, so thankful. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, so that's it. And like I said, the story picks up at the end where we have Harley waking up from her dream of all the different artists. And that was like her dream. And we have her waking up to this fiery explosion and her coming out of her storage unit and coming across this car with Robert Coachman inside of it. And he like gives her a... I want to say a piece of paper or an envelope or something along that sorts. And it's basically saying, look, someone left you a building, like a whole building house thing in their will over on Coney Island. So we do know that her story is going to continue in Coney Island. But I'm also thinking, I didn't remember this, but I was reminded by my husband actually that the Joker had a hideout in Coney Island. So I'm thinking, like, the Joker left her, th left her this in his uh, will. Is the Joker dead again? When did the Joker die? Maybe I haven't caught up enough or something or another. But like I said, I'm really excited to see where the story goes. Come on, people. Just give it a fucking chance. And all right. I hope you guys pick up this issue. If you've already picked it up and read it, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. I love to hear all your opinions and conversations and I know this is going to completely suck but I'm asking all you guys to go freaking get Google Plus so I can reply back to your comments if you haven't been getting replies back from me it's because it won't let me because the whole shotgun wedding with YouTube and Google Plus which really su freaking sucks and yeah or you could leave me your Twitter um, handle or at Twitter name whatever it's called in your comment and I can reply back to you on Twitter. 
Hey you guys, be sure to like our videos and subscribe to my mommy's channel. We review comic books and movies and talk about nonsense. And you get to look at my pretty puggy face. Bye you guys.